Quiet, please. Emmy rehearsal, take one. So there's this vaudeville agent sitting in his grungy little office in Milwaukee, <laughs> obligatory Wisconsin reference, and in walk 12 general managers. Now, Joe Ahern, for some reason, is wearing tartan lederhosen, says the agent, this is the greatest act you have ever seen. Jerry Rose adds, and it's a family act, because we're all like family. Now, Emily Barr chimes in with, it's also a novelty act. And then Neil Saban chuckles, because we use a dog. <laughs> so the agent is by now intrigued, says, so what's the act? Eduardo Fernandez says, we all come out on stage formally attired in tuxedos and ball gowns, except for Larry Ward, who's in a pink tutu and does this kinky thing with a tipperillo and a chihuahua. <laughs> then Dan Schmidt, who's standing on Vince Cordero's shoulder, starts juggling cassava melon. Suddenly, from stage left, in rides Mariah Moore on a unicycle. She's pouring Mazzola oil all over the floor. Suddenly, the stage is one big slip and slide. Everybody's up and down and up and down. Then Tom Elman, Steve Farber, and Pat Mullen, who've all had way too much Mexican food, whip out kazoos, cut, 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 in cut, unison. Hey, Tim, Tim, what? What? what are you doing? First what? of all, first of all, the aristocrat, that is so 2005. What, you said it'd be funny? Yeah, topical funny, like John Stewart funny, not Bob Saget. This is a family audience. Well, it's a family joke. No, it's not. And it's too long. You've got one minute. One minute? Yo, hey, I can't burp in less than a minute. I mean, hey, I can't channel Chet Kopic in less than a minute. But your contract says right here, one minute. We're not letting anyone else talk at all. Yeah, well, that's a blessing. And no names. We could get sued. No names? We could get, well, we could get sued. Come on. Okay, Mr. WTTW, don't be such a wuss, okay? Come on. You're not a producer. You're a comedy killer. You know, how old are you? Well, she's, I got warts older than you. This you know, is for every worry. producer I who's ever had a pain in the neck talent. I shouldn't have to put up with this. So this is for every know. producer. I mean, where'd that little... Listen, what are you doing? Listen, this is the contract. It says one minute. That's what you got. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I just can't do this. You're right. going to do what I tell you. Come on. You can't, no, I'm not. You're... Listen, Officer Sweet Chuck, according to your agent, your last gig was a fundraiser for Santa's Village. Okay, business has been a little slow, okay? I'll admit that, but I'm, ow, come on. You're gonna do it under a minute, no names, and no dirty jokes. Oh, no, no. All right? Okay, okay. Jeez, I think I got a paper cut there. You're lucky you didn't get more than a paper cut. Talent. Will you call me sometime? Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our host for the evening, Tim Kazarinski. And a warm welcome to all of you members of the vast media conspiracy. <laughs> As you've no doubt heard, there are big changes in the Emmy ceremony this year. First and foremost, no one can talk. <laughs> we call this the Warner Saunders sanction. Actually, Warner, um, we're all happy that your laryngitis is cleared up and you're back in the saddle. Um, I was not the first choice to host tonight's ceremony, uh, but when Marcel Marceau turned it down, <laughs> they came crawling back to me. So let's all just quickly go over this whole speechless thing you hear. Here's how it's going to work, okay? If you receive an Emmy, you proceed to the stage, humbly accept your award in the manner of a silent film star, <laughs> whatever that means, then allow our attractive helpers to shepherd you to the lobby. There, you will be able to record a speech that will be posted on our website, 
where it can be viewed by your friends and your family. <laughs> In actuality, that website will be visited by a grand total of three computer geeks who just want to see what Tom Skilling is wearing. <laughs> so there you have it. No acceptance speeches. None, zippo, nada. And still, we're long. It is so bad that next year, the Academy is installing a drive through window for winners. <laughs> uh, um, pull around to the second window, Ms. Zeckman. Uh, you want fries with that? In each category, by the way, there may be a single winner or multiple winners. Some categories have no winners at all. Shame we didn't have that option in the governor's race. <laughs> if you are hungry, you obviously didn't read your invitation. <laughs> However, right after the show at the MCA, we are having delicious hors d'oeuvres and desserts and an open bar for the first hour. That's roughly 44 minutes plus commercials. <laughs> By the way, we've, we've added something a little bit radical to this show this year. It's called entertainment. Uh, we'll be joined intermittently by Chicago soul singing legend Otis Clay and his band. So that's going to be great. Uh, in light of the Academy's uh, obsessive compulsive desire to keep the show brief this year, the five jokes in my monologue tonight will be devoid of the setups. Um, <laughs> you only have time for the punchlines, so here goes. No, you don't understand. Chunks is my dog. <laughs> my name? Tonto Weinstein. Okay, where's that 500-pound woman who needs her tooth pulled? Uh, tell me, Father Flanagan, how fast was the rabbi driving when he backed into you? And no, you stupid horse, I said, bring posse. Posse. Thank <laughs> <Hey>. you. <laughs> so anyway, as Ethel Merman said, let's go on with the show. Please welcome our first presenters from ABC7. She's an entertainment and feature reporter and host of 190 North from WCIU the U. He's the host of Stooja Palooza, and of course, he's Sven Gooley. Please welcome Janet Davies and Rich Coase. <laughs> to present the Talent Award. We are not nominated in any of those categories this year. It's a shame they don't televise this anymore. <laughs> Janet, I did want to say, though, that I've always wanted to be just like you. Well, thank you. Linda, you. But you know, those dresses are small. So. I think Bozo's cuter. All right. <clears throat> To be serious now, <laughs> category 20A, news, news anchor. Alita Guillen, composite WBBM. Brenda Carmona, composite WGBO. Brad Hicks, composite WITI. Diane Burns, composite WBBM. Antonio Mora, composite WBBM. Larry Potash, composite WGN. Mike Jacobs, composite WTMJ. <clears throat> and the Emmy goes to, there are three Emmys being awarded in this category. 
Brad Hicks, composite, W-I-T-I, Antonio Mora, composite, W-B-B-M, and Larry Potash, composite, W-G-M. As you always know with these sorts of tragedies, it is one thing to see it on television, it is a whole other thing to see it with your own eyes. Everywhere we saw around here, you're seeing the snapped tree limbs, the damaged buildings that we've been talking about. In other news, late word out of Springfield tonight that legislation providing health care for kids has passed the Illinois Senate. Governor Bogoyevich's plan would make sure all children have access to medical, dental, and vision care. The bill now moves to the House for debate. We have assistance, Larry. Batman. We have old glory and my utility belt. Let's go. If you're going to do this in one minute, we haven't a moment to lose. <laughs> Nice to see old Batman out there. That's it, Larry. Get on Batman up there. Batman, almost there. Good thing you changed suits while you're up there. Almost there. Right Get up, I think I got it. That a boy. Ah. May I make an observation? Certainly. You look hot. <laughs> well, will somebody please tell Jerry Lennon that, Yellen that I'm not Judy Bartopinka. <laughs> what was he thinking? <laughs> okay. Just wait till you're still sitting there two hours from now. That's okay. You'll wish we were back. Category 20B for News and Weathercaster, and the nominees are Mary Kay Kleist, composite, WBBM. Tammy Souza, composite, WMAQ. Steve Baskerville, composite, WBBM. Tom Skilling, composite, WGN. Ligia Granados, composite, WGBO. And the Emmy goes to Steve Baskerville, WBBM. <laughs> Trying not to get knocked down when you're skating. All right, let's go from that to uh, what else is happening around here. Uh, Sky Tracker says we're fine in terms of uh, anything we have to worry about weather-wise overnight tonight. We don't expect any wet weather. Uh, let's take a look at the numbers, though, as we check in from Libertyville to Bel uh, Belvedere to St. Charles. Uh, all of these locations much colder than what it should be for this time of year. The story. The next category in news is Sportscaster, and the nominees are... Pat Boyle, composite, Comcast Sportsnet Chicago. Corey McFerrin, composite, WFLD. Lance Allen, composite, WTMJ. And the Emmy goes to... My nails are just done, I'm sorry. Uh, Pat Boyle, composite Comcast Sportsnet Chicago. You would think what I'm about to tell you is tongue in cheek, but it's not. U.S. speed skater Joey Cheek credits his gold medal win last night to, of all people, actress Jessica Simpson. Cheek says he watched Jessica in the movie Dukes of Hazard and then, quote, skated out of my head. In an ironic twist, those who lost to Cheek last night blamed it on listening to Ashley Simpson before <laughs> the race. Nobody does that to me. I feel so violated. <laughs> and yet... <laughs> I think I'm picking up Howard Stern on these, you know? That's good. The next category is... New in news, reporter, and the nominees are Pam Zeckman, composite WBBM, Larry Yellen, composite WFLD, Allison Payne, composite WGN, Dave Savini, composite WBBM, Lisa Tutman, composite WMAQ, Juan Carlos Fanul, composite WGN. 
Aureliano Salgado, composite WGBO. Don Lemon, composite WMAQ. And there are two Emmys being awarded in this category. Aurelio Salgado, composite WGBO, and Lisa Tutman, composite WMAQ. Dicen que la tiene bastante mal. Una limpia no le vendría nada mal. Pero la que no necesita ninguna limpia porque siempre anda feliz y contenta es la gringuita Paris Hilton, porque siempre dicen anda de boca en boca, igual, y eso es lo que la mantiene feliz. The first thing you want to do when you start putting together your tree is to make sure you have plenty of space to work in. You want to move all your furniture away so you have a nice large area to be able to move around the tree completely. Then you want to organize your ornaments. We have bows, the eucalyptus, birds, and... The great thing is I'm getting used to this. Category 21, Me programming, too. program host, moderator, contributor. And the nominees are... Antonio Mora, composite, WBBM. Dean Richards, Bozo, Gar, and Ray, WGN-TV Classics, WGN. Harry J. Lennox, Paper Trail, 100 Years of the Chicago Defender, WTTW. William Kelly, Upscale TV, Chicago, WPWR. And the Emmy goes to Harry J. Lennox, Paper Trail, 100 Years of the Chicago Defender, WTTW. This building on Chicago's south side is a landmark. It's the home of the Chicago Defender. Founded in 1905, it was once the largest and most influential black newspaper in the country. It pulled African Americans together into a vibrant community that gave the world the blues, gospel, great literature, and the political power base that helped shape the outcome of critical elections. This is it, Rich, for us. The last really? Time. Yeah. Excuse me. 190 North, it was going south here. Let <laughs> 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 oh, me get my duct tape back on. Okay. Uh, the last category for the talents is programming, play by play, and the nominees are. Darren Sutton, Milwaukee Brewers Baseball, Fox Sports Net North. Len Casper, Bob Brenly, Chicago Cubs Baseball, WGN Comcast Sports Net Chicago. Wayne Larrabee, Bulls Basketball, WGN WCIU. And the Emmy goes to Len Casper and Bob Brenly, Chicago Cubs Baseball, WGN Comcast Sportsnet, Chicago. He says he throws his cutter by, that's his four seam fastball grip that you saw him have right there before going into the glove. And all he has done to throw this cutter from the four seam grip, he has slid his thumb four stitches over on the ball to the right. That causes the ball to come out a little bit off center. They call it a baby slider or a cutter. That ball will move in on the left-handed hitters in the low 90s. Corey Patterson rolls it. Two Cano throws him out. Okay, Eli, there's one more. I hold in my hand our final envelope. May the bluebird of happiness. <laughs> Never mind. Category 21C, Programming Performer, watch it, and the nominees are... Jeff Hoover, Composite, WGN. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Next year, there'll be a cross-dressing talent. <laughs> you know it. Jeff Hoover! <laughs> In 
Jerry this year is doing something a little bit different to try to help us raise money, a new technique to try to raise money. So take a look at what we've got. He's the world's greatest entertainer of all time. Now, for the first time on television, not available in stores. Ladies, you're my knight in shining armor, and I love you. It's Jerry Oki, ladies only. Rich was clearly enjoying that way too much. He's going to keep that outfit on the rest of the night. Uh, in case you guys lost count, this is the 48th annual Emmy show. In two more years, you'll all be getting golden tickets tucked inside chocolate bars. 2008, around that same time, we will have the next installment of that biennial comedy favorite, Late, late night at the Board of Election Commissioners. <laughs> Who knows, maybe um, President-elect Pelosi will be able to attend. Uh, a few acknowledgments, by the way. First, on piano, he's a host of WCKG-FM and comes to us from the Second City, T.J. Shanoff. Put it together, <laughs> T.J. I would also like to acknowledge our accountants, the always wickedly funny and talented professionals from Virchow, Krauss and Company. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Much obliged. Wonderful. Um, our next presenters are part of a Chicago dynasty. I'm just simply going to call them the Jordans. Michael and Juanita. No, that's a typo. Um, ABC anchor, reporter Karen Jordan, and her pops, WGN-TV anchor and reporter Robert Jordan. Please welcome the Jordans. Thanks, Tim. Hi. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's great to be here. Good to be with you. Yeah. I get to see you at home, though. I get to see you on television more than I do at home. That's right. That's a tough act to follow, <laughs> Janet and Rich back there. Maybe yeah. we should try a little cross-dressing no. or something. No, I don't know. no, uh, no. Maybe not. That'd be hard. Father and daughter? No, let's not even talk about <laughs> a it. A whole different no. category. <laughs> so let's take it away. All right. So the first category is Single Magazine Program or Program Series. And the nominees are... Connections, MUTV. Taste, WMAQ. 190 North, WLS. CPS Right Now, MUTV. Your Town Chicago, MUTV. And the Emmy goes to. Can I do that, I think? Sure. 190 North, Janet Davies, executive producer host. Holly Gresham, Lisa Lubin, Kathy Villaganis, Eric Wagon, producers, Michelle Alegria, Doug Banks, Lou Canellis. Everybody. <laughs> I guess that's the new Janet Davies. Every Thursday and Sunday night, more than 20 North Shore women suit up and hit the ice at Watts Park to take part in a whole new breed of hockey. Checking isn't checking, it's really just hugging <laughs> and by accident. <laughs> Every time we are on the ice, how many times do we hear, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry? They don't face opponents. We're exclusive about who we play. <laughs> we play no one. Okay. Uh, the next category is magazine program segments. Category 10B. All right. And the Emmy goes to? Not yet. We're going to do the nominees first. We are? Yeah. Let's okay. do the nominees first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Chicago Stories, Father of Taxidermy, WTTW. Chicago Stories, Eddie Waitkiss, Part 1, WTTW. Chicago Stories, Eddie Waitkiss, Part 2, WTTW. 
Toto, Disney at Animal Kingdom, WSNS. Now can I? Yes, okay. <laughs> now. And the Emmy goes to? Okay. Chicago Stories, Eddie Wakus, part two. Jay Smith, mm -hmm. producer, John Calloway, host, WTTW. Playing for the Phillies seemed to agree with Eddie Wakeus. In the spring of 1949, he was batting over 300 and enjoying life in Philadelphia. In Chicago, Ruth Ann Steinhagen was spending the spring working out her plot to kill him. She made reservations at the posh Edgewater Beach Hotel where the Phillies would be staying when they came to town. Okay. All right. So the next category is children's and teen single program or program series. Yeah. Don't say that part. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Into the Outdoors, Green Cows, WITI. Gumbo TV number 33, WTMJ. Check please, kids, WTTW. By the way, I think Rich slash Janet lost an earring, so I just want to <laughs> let him know if he wants to claim it here. Okay. And the Emmy goes to... Into the Outdoors, Green Cows, Mark Rose, Lisa Rose, executive producers, Stephen Volman, managing producer, Sandy Roher, producer, John Jamal, co-producer, WITI. because we're taking a trip back in time to the early days to see how America's Dairyland was born. Are you wondering how we're gonna do that? Well, we're visiting Old World Wisconsin to check out how our state's early settlers worked their farms. Things here at Old World Wisconsin are done the exact same way they were 100 years ago. Working a farm had to be really different back then, don't you think? Let's go see for ourselves. And the next one is Category 12A, Live Special Event Program, Not Sports. Let's hear, see who our nominees are. WTTW's 50th Birthday Bash, WTTW. The 2006 Chicago Auto Show in HD, WGN. 2006 Chicago Auto Show, WFLD. La Mega Marcha, WSNS. Chicago White Sox Ticker Tape Parade, Comcast Sportsnet. All right, and the Emmy goes to the 2006 Chicago Auto Show. Jeff Danker, producer, Lilia Chacon, Patrick Elwood, host, w WFLD. Lovers, it's time to floor it. McCormick Place is a festival of metal where tomorrow comes to life. Baby, I'm ready to go. The coolest concepts and the hottest hybrids. They're all at the auto show. And we've got the best of the best right here. Next category, which is 12B, is special event program edited. NBC5 presents the 2006 Chicago Auto Show, WMAQ. The Chicago Flower and Garden Show, WGN. Garden in a City, WBBM. Fox 6 50th Anniversary Celebration, WITI. this right along here okay and the Emmy goes to Fox 6 50th anniversary celebration Miles Aquino executive producer Carrie doctor producer 
David Mishuda, associate producer, Ted Perry, Katrina Crady, host, WITI. It wasn't in the birth announcements on May 21st, 1956, but Milwaukee's TV family had a new baby that day, and readers of the morning Milwaukee Sentinel got to read all about it. A local paper hasn't given WITI this much ink since. That spring day, TV6 would go on the air for the first time, and without a network affiliation. Hence our call letters, WITI. Wisconsin Independent Television Incorporated. Uh oh, okay. I don't think anyone's here from. Is it WINI? WITI. No takers means that the presenters get the Emmy. That's right. Oh. Get to take them home. <laughs> <laughs> then That's you and an I are rule. <laughs> exactly. Then we get to fight afterwards. Oh, to see. Okay. There you go. Thank uh, you. Okay. Well, this is our last presentation in this category. And then what do we do? Then we're going to steal Rich's earring. I guess that's our only prize. And then we're each going back to work. Yes, yeah. We, gotta we didn't get, get the that night out off. Here. That's right. Um, category 13B, Arts and Entertainment Program, Program Series. And the nominees are... Dean's List, WGN. Discover Wisconsin, WITI. Arts Across Illinois, WTTW. Taste of Thailand, Time Warner Cable's Wisconsin On Demand. And the Emmy goes to Arts Across Illinois, Andrea Guthman, producer, Fawn Ring, executive producer, WTTW. Chicago is home to more than 150,000 Puerto Ricans. Although they're American citizens, they take great pride in their Caribbean heritage. Each year, the spirit of the island comes alive at what has become the largest Puerto Rican event in the Midwest, the Cuatro Festival. doing good. Only 600 more awards to go. <laughs> and did I mention that for the first hour, you'll be enjoying an open bar? <laughs> As for the dyslexic, um, uh, dyslexics among us, you'll be enjoying an open bra. So that's, um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and a nice and appropriate segue. She's the anchor and reporter at NBC5 who catches everyone's eye. He's the eye on Chicago and anchors CBS2 News. Please welcome Anna Devlantes and Antonio Mora. Good evening, everybody. I'm I'm going to try to get through this, but I'm still a little traumatized from having to kiss that version of Janet Davies. Yeah, how did that feel? Uh, <laughs> it was a scary sight. <laughs> Congratulations on your Emmy, Dan. Thanks very much. I think I should give a speech Wait, now. I think we're going to cut you off there. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just because you're a presenter doesn't mean you get to talk, right? Thanks. And we've been told uh, in no uncertain terms that if any of you tries to get up here and talk that We've been specially trained on what to do just in case someone should try to charge the podium. We're going to show you real quick. Give a second here. <laughs> <laughs> you know better than that, but that's, you know, that's essentially what happens. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was afraid she'd get into it a little too much. <laughs> Good old competition. In any case, we've right. got uh, some great awards to present. Yeah. Uh, most of the off-camera awards are coming up now. So the first category is uh, Music Composition and Arrangement, Category 22. Victoria Bouchard, Freddie Breitberg, Gary Fry, Will Sliger, Tough Talking TV, WBBM, Eddie Tucker, Inspiration Sensation, Season 3, TLN. And the Emmy in this category goes to Victoria Bouchard, Fred Breitberg, <laughs> Gary Fry, and Will Sliger. Scandal. Turn off the TV. CBS 2. What everybody's watching. 
the uh, next category tonight is category number 25, audio. Jerry H. Johnson, Inspiration Sensation, TLN. Tim Boyd, Chicago Tonight, Chicago Stories, Barbershop Legend Warren Buzz Hager, WTTW. Damon Ranger, Arlington Racetrack, WBBM. And the Emmy goes to, there are two Emmys being awarded in this category, Jerry H. Johnson from TLN and uh, Tim Boyd from WTTW. All right. When most of us think of barbershop singing, we think of quartets. But most barbershoppers sing not in quartets, but in choruses. The next category is 26A Videography News, and the nominees are. Damon Ranger, Fine Arts Building, WBBM. Edwin Ramirez, Amor Al Arte, WGBO. Theodore M. Para, Composite, WGN. Mario Carrasco, Golden Gloves, WGBO. Mark Ringo, Composite, WMAQ. D. Osborne Gresham, Chicago Rowers, WFLD. Mike D'Angelo, Composite, WGN. Khalid Shabazz, Composite, WMAQ. And the winner in this category, or excuse me, the Emmy goes <laughs> to four Emmys being awarded in this category. <laughs> Pretty good odds, guys. Damon Ranger from WBBN. <laughs> Mario Carrasco. Osborne Gresham from WFLD. And Mike D'Angelo, WGN. Elevators here are still operated by hand, and each of the ten floors they pass is alive with the sights and sounds of artists at work. This is Chicago's legendary fine arts building. ¿Cómo te ayudó este deporte para mejorar tu vida? El deporte me ayudó en para mejorar mi vida. It's a view of the city most of us never see. Spectacular and grimy all at the same time. It's the South Branch of the Chicago River, home away from home for the women of the Chicago Rowing Center. It is industrial, but the water's perfect. There's man alive. In the early days, he was a slow, moving target for gangbangers, vandals, and thieves. I had to fight all through the streets, all, every day. I had to fight almost every day uh, on my first start. Though he still met with a few stares from the uninitiated, today, he's a valued member of this community. Uh, moving on to category number 26B, videography, non-news. Joe Williams, Paper Trail, 100 Years of the Chicago Defender, WTTW. Tim Boyd, Chicago by Boat, The New River Tour, WTTW. Julius S. Fometer, Masters of Texas Barbecue, Spicewood Entertainment, WMVS. John S. McKay, Tracks Ahead, WMVS. And the Emmy goes to uh, Julius S. Fomotor, uh, Masters of Texas Barbecue, WNBS. Welcome to the heart of Texas. 
glistening buckle of America's famed barbecue belt, where the sweet aroma of barbecue lingers in the rolling green hills like fresh morning dew. Come with me now on a wondrous journey to enchanted places. I guess they wanted to torture us with that no food thing, huh? <laughs> Category 27A, editing news. The nominees are. Tim Morris, composite WFLD. Damon Ranger, composite WBBM. Richard T. Moy, composite WMAQ. Anthony Vitale, composite WMAQ. Felipe Martinez, World Cup Collage, WGBO. And the Emmy goes to two Emmys being awarded in this category. Richard T. Moy from WMEQ and Felipe Martinez from WGBO. In our high tech fast-paced society, one very simple website is changing the way we live. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> people can get lost in it. People have never used it, they'll be shocked. Even I got hooked on one of the busiest destinations on the internet. More than three billion hits a month. And this guy is responsible. I'm Craig. Category number 27B, editing non-news. Terry Bates, composite WGN. Matthew Till, composite WCIU WWME. Anthony Vitale, composite WMAQ. Julius S. Fomiter, Andy Zacker, James Daniels, Jeff Morbeck. Masters of Texas Barbecue, Spicewood Entertainment, WMVS. David Mathis, composite, WMAQ. William Craig, composite, WCIU. Tom Siegel, Wild Chicago's Illinois Road Trip Series, WTTW. Chris Cangilla, composite, WBBM. Everett Hibbs, discussing the Da Vinci Code with Lee Strobel, TLN. And the Emmy goes to, there are two being awarded in this category, category Dave Mathis, composite, WMAQ. <laughs> and Chris Cangilla, composite, WBBM. <laughs> A crime that stunned Chicago. The whole family was murdered and mutilated. A teenager's love affair turned violent. My younger life had also known sex in a way that it, I shouldn't have known. Patricia Colombo gives her first television interview in 30 years to NBC5's Carol Marine and the Chicago Sun-Times. It's a deliciously self-destructive mindset from which springs cartoonist Chris Ware's deep, convoluted, dark, and fascinating work. A new world of cartooning, as much graphic art and literary novel. and so very far from the days of superheroes and 10 cent comic books. Congratulations to all of the Emmy Award winners. Have a great night, we'll see you later. Now each year the Chicago Midwest chapter of NADA celebrates excellence in education by awarding scholarships to college seniors or grad students and high school seniors who we feel represent the best and brightest for the future of our industry. High school winners are recognized and receive checks at the Silver Circle Dinner each spring. College students are honored here each year at the Emmys. Here's a short tape highlighting this year's college winners, each of whom receives a check tonight 
for $3,000. Presenting the 2006 Chicago Midwest Television Academy Scholars. Keith Fogelsong has been in love with storytelling ever since creating background characteristics for childhood games of cops and robbers. He is currently a writing television major on the Dean's List at Columbia College. Keith produces, directs, and edits, but one of his professors at Columbia says he was born to write and credits Keith with being able to make you laugh and simultaneously break your heart. Rosalina Nieves has the ambitious goal of becoming a producer who can help to create a bridge between Spanish-speaking and English-speaking news media. She received her undergraduate degree with high marks from Purdue University and is currently a graduate student at Columbia College while working as a production assistant and satellite coordinator at Fox News Chicago. A native of California, Rosalina has proven her dedication to a new city by becoming a passionate White Sox baseball fan. Brian Sharp graduated from Purdue University with distinction, as well as membership in Phi Beta Kappa Academic Fraternity. An avid skier, Brian enjoys the outdoors, but his indoor passion is to write and tell stories, especially comedy and specifically satire. Already the recipient of many awards, including the Lake County Film Festival, Brian is one of six students in the country to be accepted into Florida State University's Professional Writing for Television program. Keith, Rosalina, and Brian, they are bright, they are dedicated. They have been and will continue to be talented contributors to the television industry. We welcome them and congratulate them on becoming Natus Scholars. We have with us tonight two of our three scholarship patrons, Don Ephraim and Luke Palermo, and two of this year's scholarship recipients, Keith Vogelsong and Rosalina Nieves. A big round of applause, please. Thanks, guys. Our next two presenters put the fun back in dysfunctional family. Maybe they put the dis back in dysfunctional family. The host of WTTW Channel 11 Chicago tonight and ABC 7's newest reporter, Phil and Dan Ponce. You look dapper tonight. Thanks. So do you. <laughs> what? You remind me of someone. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, you remind me of someone. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right, enough what? of this. <laughs> Category 28, lighting. The nominees are... Julius S. Fomiter, Charlie Minette, Patrick Sweeney, Masters of Texas Barbecue, Spicewood Entertainment, WMVS. Jim Gedwallis, WTTW 50th Birthday Bash, WTTW. Frank Partipillo, Composite, WMAQ, WSNS. And the Emmy goes to Frank Partipillo. En este nuevo año, la luz y la esperanza reinan en su vida y la de su familia día a día. Celebre la vida esta Navidad. Lo mejor para usted y su familia en esta Navidad. Reciba un fuerte abrazo de parte de todo el equipo que persigue Chicago. He's speechless. 
The next category is uh, category number 29, Technical Achievement. And the nominees are... Tech Team of NBC5, Chicago White Sox World Series Victory Celebration, WMAQ. Tech Team of ABC7, WLS State Street Studio, WLS. NBC5 Tech Team, NBC5 Fridays on the Plaza, WMAQ. And the Emmy is awarded to Chicago White Sox World Series Celebration, WMAQ. Well, our Peggy Kaczynski, she scored big today. I'm telling you. She's, she's on right the phone, and she's got John Garland next to her. Hey, Peggy. Hi, Allison. We are just passing through Chinatown now, and I'm sitting with uh, John Garland, who is one of the taller members of the pitching staff of the entire team. Yes, talk is cheap, and evidently so is poster board. <laughs> Category 30A, scenic design, set design, art direction, and the nominees are... Peter McDonough, Paul Unterfinger, composite TLN. Lisa Klingen Cruz, Jason Adams, Aaron Wazer, David Hewitt, Thomas Hebel, Cal Hassan, WLS-TV State Street Studio Set, WLS. Abel Sanchez, Neil Weisenberg, Joshua Nard, Dina Serpico, Chris Ayers, CBS2 News Opens, WBBM. And the Emmy goes to WLS, State Street Studio. The next category, number 30B, News Graphics Animation. And the nominees are? Kelly Stockdale, Neil Weisenberg, Abel Sanchez, Illinois, Gretchen Wilson Country, WBBM. Robert Crandall, Composite, WMAQ. Lisa Klingen Cruz, Jason Adams, Aaron Wazer, Joe Little, Susan Mitchell, Alan Dolan, Brian Bersamin, Renee Bajek, Joel Machiella, Dawn Musial, WLS-TV Redesign, WLS. And the Emmy is awarded to Robert Crandall, composite WMAQ. Decision 2006. As the returns come in, NBC5 has the team experience, analysis, results, and reaction, plus live internet coverage starting at 9 p.m. on NBC5.com. For a depth of coverage you won't find anywhere else, turn to NBC5 and NBC5.com. Experience more, Tuesday on NBC5. Dan, this is our last category, and I have a question for you. I've been meaning to ask you this since the election. You never feel like Todd Stroger, do you? <laughs> there is no nepotism up here, folks. None whatsoever. <laughs> category 30C, non-news, graphics, animation, and the nominees are... Ryan Duff, Rebecca at Work, Love FM. JBTV. DeGaulle Vang, Composite, Archetype. 
Dina Serpico, Abel Sanchez, Composite, WBBM. David Newberry, Benita Vey, Composite, WYCC. And the Emmy goes to DeGaul Vang. A book can be a best friend. It can take curious minds to far off places and open up a world of pure imagination. Kids who read succeed, so please give a kid a book. Drop off new unwrapped books at any of these locations to benefit at-risk children in our community. I'm Deanna Favre, and no child should grow up without a favorite book. See those boys bring a little class to the stage. It's nice. I, I'm, I should remember, I'm a quotations junkie, and I've selected a few for you tonight. This one from um, Jules Renard. Writing is an occupation in which you have to keep proving your talent to those who have none. And this is the one from Robert Benchley. The freelancer is a person who is paid per piece, per word, or perhaps. <laughs> Coming up next, from Telemundo, Chicago, Alba Mendiola, and from behind the Cheddar Curtain, the longest serving TV news anchor in Milwaukee, WTMJ's Mike Jacobs. <laughs> Buenas noches a todos. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Chicago. Muchas gracias, Alba. On behalf of all of the nominees from Wisconsin, I would like to thank NADA Chicago for reaching out to include all of us from Wisconsin and beyond in so many events this year. Thank you very much. <laughs> Category 15, Public Service Announcement or Campaign, and the nominees are? Bleep Bus, WTMJ. The Mac Fund, WTMJ. Pick Me, Chicago Ween 2005, WMAQ. Operation Save a Life, WLS. Challenges and Triumphs, Jim Mullen Reports, WBBM. And the Emmy is presented to Bleep Blue, Jeremy Bessoff, Jeff Becker, co-producers, WTMJ, Milwaukee. This mother came up in my school, told me that he wanted to with me, and I'm saying, you know, I don't really do that, but you know how it is. But anyway, that came up in your school, you know what I'm saying? That mother she a piece of you might be trying to impress your friends, but cursing in public only makes you look bad. I don't really appreciate that. Making me jump around and Respect the other riders. Check yourself. Our next category is 16A, News Promotion, Single Announcement or Campaign. And the nominees are... The Changing Face of Anorexia, WBBM. Chopper 7 HD, WLS. Two on Football Big, WBBM. Cold Case Files, WMAQ. Chicago's most trusted meteorologist, WGN. Everything begins with today, WMAQ. 10th anniversary, WGBO. And there are two Emmys being awarded in this category. And the recipients are two on Football Big, Victoria Butcher, <laughs> Dina Serpico, Fred Bregwier, Mike Klinglel, Mike Torquia, Dave Moravec, Will Sneer, uh, producers Robert Thompson and supervisor producer WBBM. And 
Chopper 7 HD, Carrie Bartholomew, Producers W. Ellis. Chicago football isn't for cream puffs, so why get your Bears lowdown from average sports guys when you can get it from Malone and Ditka? They're big, big behind the scenes, big game expertise, and big mustaches. Category 16B, non-news, promotion, single announcement, or campaign. And the nominees are... Tough Talkin' TV, WBBM. Chicago Cubs 06, Power and Passion, WGN. Summer of Me campaign, WWME. Marathon 2005, WBBM. Science Mondays, WYCC. The Wise TV Story, WYCC. Mystery Puzzle, WYCC. And there are two Emmys being awarded in this category. Summer of Me campaign, Jim Roche, executive producer, Joe Dale producer, WWME, and a Wise TV Story, Jim Kerwin, producer, David Newberry, Benita Vays, and they are co-producers, WYCC. This place is real funky. Whoop-dee-doo. Life is a gas. It's me. Me? Me? Me TV. Praise me! The summer of me. And ain't nobody gonna stop me. Memorable entertainment television. Not so long ago in Chicagoland, a frustrated public wisely took a stand. They wanted to switch from dumbed down TV to television more suited for the whole family. So the people got together to lend support for a public TV station much more their sort. Our next category is 17, Single Commercial Announcement or Campaign. And the nominees are... Svengooli T-shirt, WCIU. Fate, Archetype. La Vida Ami Ritmo, WSNS. Pontiac Primetime Challenge, WBBM. Rebecca at Work, Love FM, JBTV. And the Emmy goes to Rebecca at Work, Love FM, Jerry Bryan, Armando Zapata, David Gariano, and ex executive producers, JBTV. Work that everyone can love. 100.3 Love FM. Love FM. And we will make sure this gets delivered. Category 18 Alternate Media, New Media Interactivity. And the nominees are Journey to Africa, WMAQ. CBS2Chicago.com cell phone survey, WBBM. And the Emmy is awarded to Journey to Africa. Don Lemon, reporter, producer, Zach Christman, producer, WMAQ.
So our experts hooked us up with a driver. His name is Samuel, and he happens to be a genocide survivor. He took us to the stadium. I lost my, uh, my two uncles and my three aunts, my aunt, three aunts, uh, even my, uh, my grandmother, grandfather, have any many families. Sam says many of his friends, his male friends, are sick and many have died from AIDS, leaving behind their wives and their children. Congratulations to Mike Torsha for his Emmy. Um, Mike and Pixel Brothers did tonight's opening film of The Aristocrats, where I get bitch slapped by Jay Smith. <laughs> So I, well, all right, ladies and gents, kick back. Our next guest is one of the premier deep soul singers working today. He's in demand as a touring performer in the U.S. and Canada, as well as in Europe and Japan, where he has a huge following. Please welcome the inimitable, the incomparable, Otis Clay. begging you every day for love that I cannot have. Girl, you broke my heart into half. I know if you and me, baby, 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 that makes the world go round. can always call on you for a helping hand. I know you do the best that you can. And it don't take much for me for my cup to run over. All of this love inside of me, I know, oh, I know it's going to be an explosion and you just Come to me. You don't have to hurry. No, 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 no. Just tell me all of your trouble. And you won't ever have to worry. And you just can't stop the reminding. Everybody that you see. Or you find yourself somewhere.
calling. Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> then I want you to teach me tonight. Teach me. Well, come on. Otis Clay, ladies and gentlemen, how about that band? Not too shabby. Otis is the terminator of soul. He will be back. By the way, uh, should you not receive uh, any honors tonight, all is not lost. There's still an opportunity for you to be acknowledged for your work this past year. On Thursday, Roy Leonard's going to unveil a new set of Turkeys of the Year Award. So right now, from WMTV in Madison, anchor and reporter Lee Mills, and from CNN, former NBC5 anchor and reporter Don Lemon. Hello, hello. Good Whose evening. idea was this? A producer that not let people talk? You, you, source spot? No, <laughs> well, I just want to say we, everybody works very hard, and we get so little praise, so it would be nice. Everybody who won, congratulations. And I'm saying it for everyone. Thank you, thank you. And, and we want to welcome you back to Chicago. I'm not from here, but I hear that you recently got a pretty exciting move. I did, but you know what? I, my heart is still here, so it's good to be home. So. Let's go, let's, uh, let's do this. And you look wonderful, by the way. Thank you. Category number 22, directing live. The nominees are. Dan Hyatt. Inspiration Sensation Season 3, TLN. Michael Lasky, WGN News at Noon, WGN. Kathy Gruber-Jones, HD by Candlelight, A Christmas Celebration, WBBM. Steve Novak, White Sox World Series Championship Rally, WGN. There is no winner in this cat, no kidding. I wasn't going to say it. And the winner is? Michael Lasky, WGN News at Noon. As he wraps up, we'll bring you a live report. In the meantime, yeah, let's listen in on what he's saying. Spending. Bring it up. Discretionary it's spending. It's going to be like a minute or two. And mandatory spending. So camera three, I need you on a one shot of time. Thanks right to working now. with the speaker and others, we've shown real progress on being fiscally wise when it comes to discretionary spending. We'll come out to We've now cut the rate of growth in right non-security discretionary spending each year since we'll I've been in office. To camera three for A7. Last February, my budget proposed Once an actual camera cut three, camera two, you'll get in non-security discretionary spending. You didn't hear him on the air, right? I know someone who got in trouble for that. <laughs> okay. Moving on, category 22B, directing, edited. And the nominees are? John S. Wassel, Upscale TV, Chicago Composite, WPWR. Waldemir Zambrano, Composite, TLN. And the Emmy goes to? John S. Wassel, Upscale TV, Chicago Composite, WPWR. Hello, I'm 
I'm William Kelly. Welcome back to Upscale Chicago. Today we are at the CME, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. I know nothing about this, but thank God we have somebody who does. The chairman of the Merc, Terrence Duffy. Let's go meet him. Wow, he moseyed on down, huh? I didn't think he was here. Okay. No, I didn't. It was a category number 23A, writing news. Vince Gerasole, composite WBBM. Linda Yu, Wilson Toy, Chicago's Road to China, WLS. Chuck Coppola, composite WGN. And the winner is... Vince Gerasoli, composite WBBM. It's dawn at Arlington Racetrack. And 2,000 thoroughbreds are putting their best foot forward. Oh, in the morning time, it's a learning process. In this daily ritual, jockeys lead each horse through the pacing, testing their speed and endurance, perfecting each animal's racing kind of like a school. This is our final one, right? This is the last one. This is the last you'll see of me. I'm, oh. I'm kidding. This might be the first and last time I'm only, I'm up here, so I have to take it in. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Category 23B, writing, non-news, and the nominees are. Kyle Wells, composite WGN. J.T. Smith, composite WTTW. Elizabeth Johnson, composite WBBM. Barbara E. Allen, Gail F. Baker, Chris Benson. Paper Trail, 100 Years of the Chicago Defender, WTTW. And the winner is, I should say the winners are, Barbara E. Allen, Gail F. Baker, Chris Benson, Paper Trail, 100 Years of the Chicago Defender, WTTW. The history of the Defender is the story of the courageous men and women who dared to speak truth to power from the streets of Bronzeville to the Oval Office, and in doing so, helped transform the nation. Before the Defender, Chicago was already the crossroads of America. It was a commercial hub, home of the Union stockyards, the steel mills, and the railroads. Any of you guys like start your holiday shopping yet? Me, I. I always wait till the last minute. But you know, I found a great place to shop this year. It's called the Tribune Company. <laughs> They're getting rid of everything. <laughs> it's a virtual fire sale. They're offering up some great package deals. You know. Oh, dear, look, dear. Santa put Larry Potash in your Christmas stocking. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I was hoping for Jackie Bang. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the closest thing we got to a rim shot, folks. <clears throat> oh, Dad, the only thing Santa brought me was the Chicago Cubs. Uh, don't cry, Billy. We can always exchange them for some socks. <laughs> zing, zing. Yeah, I'm doing multiple voices up here. Who said sketch comedy is dead? Okay, next up. From Univision Chicago, anchor and, investi uh, and anchor and reporter Brenda Carmona, and from CBS2, investigative reporter Dave Savini. Give him a hand. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good to be here. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? Very good. Um, I, you're an investigative reporter. Should be. Is it like a dangerous job? It's scary. It's funny you should ask that. Brenda, <laughs> I get a lot of threats. You know, I've been, uh, I've been punched, really? I've been spit at, I've been shot at, 
I've been chased with a tire iron. Wow. And that's just what happens before I leave the house in the morning. <laughs> They knew it. What timing? That's a good timing. Okay, we're here to present category number seven, documentary of current significance, and the nominees are. Englewood Speaks, CLTV. Meth in Wisconsin, an in Wisconsin special, Wisconsin Public Television. 2005 World Series, Chicago White Sox, Comcast Sportsnet, Chicago. Monk, UPN, Michiana. And the winner is Monk. Lou Pierce, producer, UPN, Michiana. There are those among us who work to shape the world. Edward A. Malloy grew up in Washington, D.C., where he starred as a high school basketball player, where a childhood friend nicknamed him Monk, and where he first learned from an expert how the world could be shaped. My father was uh, always very active in church matters. Next category, 7B, Documentary of Historic Significance, and the nominees are? Chicago by Boat, the New River Tour, WTTW. Tsunamis on American Shores, WGN. Paper Trail, 100 Years of the Chicago Defender, WTTW. And the Emmy goes to Paper Trail, 100 Years of the Chicago Defender, WTTW. Barbara Allen, producer, Paul Buckner, executive producer, Chris Benson, Pat Lofthouse, associate producers. The Defender plays a unique role because it's going to report on things that a lot of the uh, larger newspapers are going to miss uh, or just not going to devote time or space to. It was the most important African-American newspaper for uh, nearly half a century. The community depended upon it because it was our, it was our lifeline. We always look to the Defender so they can print our story. You wanted to be in the Defender, and you wanted to be in there doing something good. You didn't want to be in there because you committed a crime. By the way, I wanted to congratulate you on your nomination. And I'd like to congratulate you. Thank you. Know. you. What was your category? Reporter. Oh. I lost. Mine was anchor. You I lost. didn't win you either. Lost two. Yeah. No wonder they put us together. Anyway. Two losers. <laughs> it was a sign. Oh, woo! Before. Don't. No, don't. Category number seven C documentary of cultural significance and the nominees are. Tutankhamun and the Golden Age of the Pharaohs, WMAQ. Seven Sisters, WMVS, WMVT. Acts of Mercy, TLN. Masters of Texas Barbecue, Spicewood Entertainment, WMVS. Get ready to feel hungry again. Masters of Texas Barbecue. Julius Famator, Russell Yarnell Producers, Spicewood Entertainment, WMVS. Travel to Lakeway and find out why Dan Rather and A.J. Foyt eat at Buster's Barbecue. Just down the road, we stop at Stubbs Barbecue in Austin for Sunday Barbecue Gospel Brunch. We follow the smoky trail to Taylor for down-home visits at two of the state's most treasured barbecue landmarks. 
Louie Mueller's Barbecue and Rudy McKesky's Barbecue Cafeteria. Next up is Historic City Market in Louie. They probably went to dinner, so we'll, we'll deliver this for them. Barbecue looks good. It does. Next category. It's uh, 8A, Public Affairs, Current Affairs, Single Program, and the nominees are... Enya Beat, Gang Life, WLS. Circle of Care, Living with Diabetes, WGN. Smart Choices, Safe Kids, A Child Lures Prevention Town Hall Meeting, WMAQ. Stem Cell Debate, WYCC. The Jefferson Awards, WMAQ. Health Beat, Man, Machine, and Medicine, WLS. Challenges and Triumphs, Jim Mullen Reports, WBBM. There are two Emmys being awarded in this category. Smart Choices, Safe Kids, a Child Lures Prevention Town Hall Meeting. Allison Rosati hosts Laura Johnson Lesage, executive producer Ken Wooden, co-executive producer Cindy Petrasso, supervising producer Francie Bergman, Jessica Brannon, Irene Bajakowitz. I don't think you were, oh yeah, Irene. <laughs> Trisha, Trisha DeRose, Allison Ebert, Lisa Gonzalez, Lane Look. There's a lot of people on here, folks. Vince Munyon, David Radzliff, Susan Richter, Mark Ringo, Khalid Shabazz, Tony Vitale, Rosemary Webb, co-producers WMAQ. Good. And the other winner is, I'm out of steam, the other winner is WLS gang, Beat Gang Light, Lisa Lubin, Tim Kelleher, Teresa Gutierrez, host. What child safety expert Ken Wooden calls lures. The lure will short circuit their basic instincts, only for a moment. Life-saving information that can protect your children. Smart Choices, Safe Kids, an NBC5 Child Lures Prevention Town Hall Meeting. Six Latin Kings Gangster Disciples. You've heard the names, but they're really insignificant. It's the individuals whose lives are affected that really matter. Helping kids break this cycle of gang violence today on Inya Beat. Category 8B Public Affairs Current Affairs Program Series. A Better Place, MUTV. Chicago Tonight, WTTW. Sanctuary, WLS. People to People, WGN. And the Emmy goes to People to People, WGN. Gloria Brown producer, Allison Payne, Steve Sanders. Sunday Mass. Be ye reconciled to God. Mass at St. Sabina is spiritual, musical, and packed. Let me stand. Father Flager was first assigned to St. Sabina in 1975, a church slated to close. Six years later, he became head pastor, raised three sons here, and has seen his congregation grow from a handful of families to a full house of blacks, whites, and Hispanics. Sorry, no speeches. <laughs> okay, the last category is category number nine, conversation, interview, single program, or program series. And the nominees are? Check, please, WTTW. Eye on Chicago with Antonio Mora, WBBM. People, places, and things, Black Chicago today and tomorrow, WLS. Total living. TLN, Friday night, WTTW. And the Emmy goes to, check please, WTTW. DJ McAleer, David Manilow, Joel Cohen, executive producers, Galit Greenspoon, Kendall Wersbitsky, Susan Godfrey, and Sarah Warner.
five years from now, I'll remember what I ate there. Siam rock my world. You know, it's quote, quote, kind of punk rock. He is a chef that understands the marriage and the synergy between wine and food. The atmosphere, I think, is like kitchen. I <laughs> love that. It looked like Frank Lloyd Wright was working at Baskin Robbins. I think the concept is great. The execution was poor. But there's so much more family and heart. It's almost like being hugged and loved while yeah. you're eating. I must go back. Is this all? I need to pay more. Now it's time for a special award for a special person. Tonight, we would like to honor a courageous newsman who has brought honor, dignity, and distinction to our profession. But Borat could not be here tonight. <laughs> Instead, the president of the Chicago Midwest chapter of the TV Academy, Barbara Williams Perry, will present the Academy's prestigious Governor's Award. Barbara's wearing a pretty hot dress, so let's get some wild applause, please, for Barbara. Thank you, thank you. 1,300 certificates. I signed 1,300 certificates honoring you for work you did this year that's worthy of Emmy consideration. That's a lot of great work. On your part, and on mine. Absolutely, absolutely. And I do it all again after a few ice packs and some physical therapy. I do it all again because I'm so proud that we recognize and support excellence across our industry, from the scholarships for students to the Silver Circle Awards for the people who created our business, and to tonight with the, with the Emmy Award. Um, we're having a party later at the museum because we deserve to celebrate together. Normally we are so competitive and the time clock that we punch, whether in a TV station or working on an internet website or in a, in a production house, our time clock is measured in hundreds of a second and it's digital. And so normally we're flirting with chaos. But every once in a while we find a circle of calm. The man we recognize this evening with the Governor's Award is the eye in our storm. Jim Dish has served on the Board of Governors for over 20 years. You who've worked with him at WGN-TV and at CLTV and for the Archdiocese of Chicago, uh, excuse me, of Chicago in their radio and television department could tell us this. He's a great manager and he's brought his skills to us as president for two terms and currently he is a Chicago Midwest trustee to our national board. He's given us hours working on projects from scholarships to the Silver Circle and always, always, Jim shares his gifts, his gifts of calmness, his gifts of compassion, and his gifts of diplomacy. He's our center, the eye and the heart of this academy. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the 2006 Governor's Award to Jim Dish. God, I was asked to say a few words, and uh, in keeping with the spirit of the evening, I will keep it very brief. Uh, this is a very humbling experience for me. Just two years ago, I was very honored to be up here presenting one of these to Ann Drury on behalf of her uh, husband, John. Our thoughts and prayers are with John and his family tonight as he continues his battle with ALS. Now, I've seen lots of people come up here and give acceptance speeches in which they thank their family last. And I would like to thank my family first because they are the more, most important thing in my life. So my wife, Pat, daughter, Kim, sons, Steve, and Sean are all out there with their significant others, Anthony, Carrie, and Megan. Please wave. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, they, along with son Kevin, who could not be here tonight, have been and continue to be my best friends, my reality check for what's really important in life. Thanks also to Paul Davis. Now, you don't have to applaud for him. That's okay. Uh, he's my former boss of more than a dozen years at WGN Television, and Paul has come up with a lot of crazy excuses for getting on airplanes and fly flying across the country and uh, coming in from Los Angeles this evening fits right into that. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> uh, thanks also to all my friends at WGN and CLTV, several of whom have moved on to other stations uh, for many great years of uh, fun and adventures at those stations. I would like to thank the Board of Governors of the Television Academy, uh, not just for this award, but for the tireless work that all of you do with little recognition to promote excellence in television through workshops, scholarships, career days, and events like tonight. Now, I would finally like to offer congratulations in two areas to everybody here in the audience. First of all, congratulations to everybody who has been nominated for an Emmy. Uh, we've been watching excellent excerpts of many fine programs on the TV screen up here tonight. Uh, I have sat on scores of judging panels over the years, as have many of you. And uh, I think many of you know the gig. You never judge your own market. So you sit there and you look at videos from across the country, from New York, Philadelphia, Boston, Denver, Los Angeles. And when the night is done and you've watched all these other markets, one thing is clear. We are working in the best market in the nation, bar none. <laughs> Uh, and finally, and I don't think this is said often enough about the TV people, people in the Chicago market, congratulations to everybody here for the outstanding outreach you do for the TV wannabes coming up in our business. <clears throat> As an instructor at Columbia College, that's me and just about everybody else in this room, I think, <clears throat> I talk to lots of students, many of, many of whom have had internships at TV stations and production houses. All of them, to a person, rave about the gracious treatment they receive from all of you, from producers, editors, directors, writers, managers, television professionals who give countless hours tutoring, mentoring, helping students with resume tapes, critiquing, and opening doors for them here and in other markets. We are a strong, vibrant, and welcoming television community and tonight, I am very proud to be a small part of that family. Thank you very much. In honor of Jim's Governor's Award, we just voted on this backstage, we've decided to have an open bar for the first hour <laughs> at the MCA. And for you dyslexics, no, never mind. Um, you know, a recent in-depth study has this determined the four key components to a television news show. Pets, vets, babies, and breasts. And not necessarily in that order. Our next two presenters are the key components to our next award segment, we may have eliminated the speeches this year, but there's no way to shut these two up on Emmy night. Please welcome NBC 5's consumer reporter, Lisa Parker, and Fox 32's investigative reporter, Larry Yellen. Come on, guys, give them hell. Just when you thought things were moving right along. Got one for you, too. For some ribs, thank you. Thank you very much. A little Texas barbecue. I wanted to clear up one uh, possible error tonight. There's been a father and a daughter out here. There's been a father and a son. Despite my beautiful, very young and attractive looking host, this is not a father-daughter relationship here. <clears throat> no, but I was married to Mike Parker for a couple years back in the 80s. It didn't work out, but we're still friends. <laughs> and I kept the name. Let's go. 
Let's move right along. Category 14A, live sports event game series unedited. The nominees are. Chicago Cubs Baseball, Comcast Sportsnet. Brewers Baseball, Fox Sportsnet North. White Sox Baseball on WGN-TV and WCIU-TV. WGN, WCIU. LaSalle Bank Chicago Marathon. WBBM. And the Emmy goes to LaSalle Bank Chicago Marathon. Woohoo! Those are all the names Jay Foote, Tom Schnecke, Scott Thor, Kathleen Carr, Beth Grueling, Regina Griffin, Liz Johnson, Carol Thompson, Harvey Moshman, Simone Thiessen, Chris Cangilla, John Angio, Jim Angio, Dina Serpico, Mark Malone. Is there anybody at the state? Savini, were you in on this one? Tony Rivas, Catherine Switzer, Todd Williams, Joan Benoit Samuelson, Megan Mawicki, Steve Baskerville, Vince Gerasoli, Mary Kay Kleist, Antonio Mora, Diane Burns, Sylvie Gomez, and Ed Curran hosts. I think everybody but Savini was in on the speed so that we don't have a bottleneck that lasts probably any longer than 20 minutes at the start before these 40,000 people will cross the start line. Congratulations, everybody. Well, I'm a little nervous to say this, but I just want to go out there on a limb and say, I miss the speeches. Anybody? Anybody? I. Uh, no. No, Emily, no. Okay. And the cheese stands. I alone. miss. I just I miss Dave Savini thanking his mother. Think of all the things we would not know about Three Mark Saxemeyer. <laughs> I miss Lisa thanking Mark Ringo. I <laughs> and as a result of that, and because we are tired of producers running the show, the winner of the next <laughs> award is going to take the mic for a second. Like it, like it or not. <laughs> so let's go. All right. Now somebody's got their stomach in knots out there. Category 14B, single sports program special. Nominees. Nominees are. The Extra Mile, WBBM. Hometown Hopefuls, WMAQ. White Sox, World Champs, WBBM. Sox Pride, the story of the 2005 world champion Chicago White Sox, Comcast Sportsnet Chicago. Okay, the whole speech thing was Larry's idea. I don't want you to think I rigged it. Hometown Hopefuls, Jam 5. <laughs> Rob Elgis, Paula Ferris, Jessica Brannon, Tony Vitale, Suzanne Richter, Greg Schatz. The green light flashes, the flags go up. Churning and burning, the yearn for the cup. They definitely maneuver and muscle for rank. It's close. Burning fast on an empty tank. This is still a long road. They pour through the turns. So hopefully, uh, we're heading in the right direction. He's going the distance. Going for speed. For one of America's top speed skaters, the Olympic journey began on this ice. I am Mark Ringo, and I finally got one of these. Thank you, Lisa Parker. <laughs> Boy, that's uh, I don't think I, they're going to ask us back next year, but it's been a pleasure okay. joining you. I'm not sure without speeches that I want to come back next year. One way to make this thing shorter, by the way, if we eliminate I've timed it out. I've been sitting in the back, and I timed it out tonight. If we eliminate the word composite, <laughs> we would save 16 minutes tonight, and nobody knows what it is anyway. Next category. Go ahead. Next, categ <laughs> Next category is 14C, sports program series covering sports or based on a sports theme. And the nominees are... ...2005 Summer Shootout Series, Time Warner Cable's Wisconsin On Demand. The leadoff man on WGN Sports, WGN. Hanging with the Moose, Comcast Sportsnet Chicago. 
And the Emmy goes to... Hanging with the Moose, Lissa Dross, Chrisman, Willie Parker, Kevin Cross, producers, Musin Muhammad, host, Comcast Sportsnet Chicago. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. I know all you guys probably rushed out the day after Thanksgiving and got your Christmas trees. Well, you know what? I didn't have any time to do that, so I'm taking the time out right now to go get me a tree, and I brought my man number 31, Nate Bash, and he's got the saw. Can you go do it, baby? Oh, wait, wait, oh. Oh, oh, yeah, what? Uh, oh. This is Chicago style surfing right here, baby. Chicago style surfing. See, they would have said something funny. Larry, you're a lawyer. Nothing vaguely constitutional about muzzling journalists. Nothing. No comment. First Amendment. Uh, <laughs> well, they, our final category. They can Larry. keep us off the air. See, that's. I promised your wife only one joke. I think you're at your limit. Category 14D sports segment feature, and the nominees are Dr. Gato, WTMJ, Brian's Story, WMAQ, On the Bus, WGN, El Duque, WBBM, White Sox, Great Names, CLTV, Race Across the Desert. Comcast Sportsnet, Chicago. Another way to shorten the evening, put WMAQ in the front row because they're winning a lot of them. P Brian Story, Peggy Kaczynski host, <laughs> WMAQ. Like I said, the ultimate goal would be out there and pitch one more time, you know? A faith-filled journey began two days after the accident. His baseball coach from the College of DuPage promised to save the paralyzed player's spot on the roster. Intense rehab ensued. Fingers started to move, then arms, a leg. Within a few months, he was standing up. That's the last time, buddy. The medical society, Yeah. they can't really explain it. No coincidence, that was the shortest category. Good night. Thank you. I'm going to squeeze these in. Now, just imagine, at this point, adding 79 speeches. <laughs> Not to defer with Larry, but we'd be here till midnight. All right, a couple more quotes. See if you can guess who said this. If sitting in church makes you a Christian, then sitting in, in the garage makes you a car. <laughs> Garrison Keillor, uh, who said this, today is the first day of the rest of your life, but so was yesterday, and look how you screwed that up. <laughs> Actually, I said that. All right, uh, please welcome from Total Living Network, Sun Mi Choi, and from Comcast Sports, Pat Boyle. Wow. Good evening, everyone. Sammy, you look Good. gorgeous tonight. Thank Congratulations you. on your nomination. Congratulations on your Emmy. Thank you very much. A a no hard feelings, but my mother made this dress. Oh, that's my mom. Very nice. <laughs> Did you notice one of the Chicago Bears just won an Emmy? All of you collectively have been in this business like 200 years, and one guy, one year, from the Chicago Bears wins an yeah. Emmy. He actually told me he would rather win an Emmy than go to the really? Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl's in Hawaii. He would rather win an Emmy. So we'll see what happens. And He's he very. something that had any food there. Well, th yeah, I'm sure there's food there. Yeah. But I'm food on entry. the Board of Governors, and I'm sure next year we may have some food. All right. I'll see what I can do. Okay, we'll get this going. The first category is for a soft news single feature, and the nominees are. Figure Flattering Jeans, WBBM. Unearthing a Pioneer's Dream, WLS. Cold Water Rescue, WMAQ. Silent Warriors, WGN. A Coach's Loss, WMAQ. What's up there? WMAQ. Budding problem. WGN. The perfect date? 
WFLD, Pregnant Pause, WMAQ, Jailhouse Hip Hop, WLS, Can You Sudoku, WMAQ, Altitude Adjustment, WGN, Wednesday's Child Finale, WMAQ. And the Emmy goes to, there are multiple winners here. Cold Water Rescue, Ana Devlantes, reporter, Al Brown, Matt Byrne, producers, Suzanne Richter, co-producer. The Perfect Date, Mark Saxonmeyer, reporter, producer, Nathan Halder, Andrea Brown, Lou Hinkhouse, producers, WFLD, and Wednesday's Child Finale, Allison Rosati, reporter, Pam Oliver, Suzanne Richter, co-producers, WMAQ. Tonight, we introduce you to an elite force within the Chicago Fire Department. Mask ready. When there's trouble below the surface, they're there. Found the victim. We go along with the Air Sea Rescue scuba team. Welcome to a special event, an engagement party. A small gathering of young couples celebrating love. Yet something is amiss. This young woman doesn't know her date's real name. And this young man is here with a girl he met just 10 minutes ago. Turns out their companions here have been rented by the hour. I want to show them love and affection and just like they would show me love. I was making dinner in the kitchen. Listening that night, Renee, a suburban wife and mother with two grown boys. And all of a sudden I heard Christina's voice. <laughs> Renee started watching, seeing that she and Christina shared a love for gardening. The next category, number 4B, Soft News Feature Series. And the nominees are? Calling it quits, WMAQ. To the test, WTMJ. Inside Chicago, WBBM. Journey to Africa, WMAQ. More than meets the eye, WMTV. White Sox Retro, Comcast Sportsnet Chicago. Marshall Fields Farewell, WFLD. The Emmy goes to, there are two Emmys being awarded in this category. Journey to Africa, Don Lemon, reporter, producer, Dennis Sampler, producer, WMAQ. White Sox Retro, Chuck Garfin, reporter, Ryan McDuffie, producer, Comcast Sportsnet, Chicago. Hospital wards in sub-Saharan East Africa overflow with suffering children. The gashes and bruises on these boys come from a rabid hyena which attacked their village near Malawi in the middle of the night. It killed nine people, most of them children. The 1959 White Sox was a team built on speed, defense, and pitching. Excellent pitching. You know, anytime Billy Pierce is your number three or number four starter, he's got good pitching. It was a tremendous uplift for the players. I think it's a tremendous uplift for the fans, but it was, a, it was an exciting time. They had Early Wynn, who at 39 won 22 games, as well as the Cy Young Award. Next category is 5A, Specialty Report, Health, Medical. And the nominees are... Baby Sign Language, WMAQ. Bug Chasing, WKOW. Medicine Tonight, WBBM. Health Watch, WMAQ. Prescription for Death, WTMJ. Eat Away the Pain, WGN. Dying to be thin, WFLD. 
The Secret Inside You, WBBM. Cord Blood, Life Saving Serum, WGN. And the Emmy goes to, there are multiple winners in this category as well. Dying to be Thin, Mark Saxon, Meyer Reporter Producer, Lou Hinkhouse, Andrea Brown, D. Gresham, Producers, WFLD. Prescription for Death, John McFuhr, Reporter, Ira Klusendorf, Paul Balistrieri, Producers, WTMJ, and Cord Blood Life Saving Serum. <laughs> Dina Bear, Reporter, WGN. To the point where I started crying, it almost feels like shards of glass. Jill says she asked BTC for help, but wasn't satisfied with the answers she got. Instead, she sought a second opinion. A new surgeon told her there was a blockage in her intestines. And I'm like, please, just open me up and fix me. So is it right for you to give a patient, a drug-seeking patient, that many pills? No, he, he shouldn't do that. Luke Nelson was an only child. He grew up in Shorewood. His dad was a cop. Mom stayed at home. Luke seemed to have it all, but all was never quite enough. He was a tough one. He was a really tough kid. Luke began smoking marijuana when he was 12. When we searched worldwide of over 7 million donors, we didn't find any match for him. Fortunately, uh, Utah's doctor, Patrick therapy. Steff, director of Loyola's Cardinal Bernadine Cancer Center, knew of another option, a cord blood transplant using blood drawn from the umbilical cord when a baby's born. To some of you, it was a, a huge day in sports. The Bears, they went to nine and one. Right. One of them won an Emmy. Yes. The Cubs made the biggest free agent splash thus far. Wow. They signed Alfonso Soriano uh, to an eight year deal. How much? Almost as much as the WLS Sports Department's gonna make. It's uh, $136 <laughs> million over eight years. So that's, that's good money. <laughs> uh, finally here, our category, 5B, Specialty Report, Science Weather. The nominees are Blizzard, Al Roker Special, Chicago Segment, WMAQ. Chicago Vulnerable, WSNS. Nuestra Galaxia, WGBO. Deadly Silence, WBBM. And the Emmy goes to Oh, the power. Blizzard, an L. Roker special Chicago segment, Tammy Sousa, reporter, producer, WMAQ. Mother Nature can be hard on Chicago. Each winter, the winds began to blow, the snow turns to ice, and pedestrians become warriors. But Chicagoans know how to do battle with even the harshest winter storms. Since the late 1800s, we've had 41 storms that dropped 10 inches of snow or more. The blizzard of 1903 created the Snow Brigade. The next category is 5C, Specialty Report, Politics, Government, and the nominees are... Immigration in America, WBBM. Rumbo a la Ciudadanía, Path to Citizenship, WSNS. Political Gridlock, WAOW. Mayor's Trip to China, WBBM. Reality Check, WFLD. The open bar is in sight, and the Emmy goes to... Political Gridlock, Joe Ammer Reporter, WAOW. This combination of events has made it very difficult for the Bush administration to establish any sort of uh, public policy agenda. 
So here are the facts. 72 of the people I talked to, two politicians, and one expert all agree the government is doing a bad job. The positive note is that most also agree this can change. I feel very good about the progress that we're making. Both parties have to work together. I think there's plenty of potential to... Category 5D, Specialty Report Commentary. And the nominees are... A Rick Horowitz Sampler, WMBS. In My View, WBBM. Walter Jacobson's Perspective, WFLD. And the end we go to... Walter Jacobson's Perspective, Phil Hayes, Ed Bartlett, Producers, Walter Jacobson, Commentator, WFLD. I didn't like it too much, so I didn't join up and went to war on the USS Tingy fighting the enemy in the South Pacific. For two and a half years, in eight major battles, he was fired on and he fired back until he was seriously wounded and his commanding officer took him off the Tingy. And you're gonna go sick bay and then they're gonna give you a Purple Heart? I says, I don't want no Purple Heart, what for? I says, I got what happened to all my buddies that are gone? There is so much food backstage. <laughs> we are running low on the light soy for the sushi. <laughs> but, oh, I tell you. Okay, I'm gonna start the bidding at $1,000. <laughs> All right. Here now are two women who I have to say are always a pleasure to wake up with. CLTV morning anchor Tanya Francisco and Fox 32 morning weather forecaster Tammy Blizzard Souza. <laughs> How funny is it that they put two morning people towards the end of the show? It's not funny. Not at all. What time is it? I think it's after 8.30. So I have less than six hours of sleep now? Something like that. Oh. Well, but it's too bad. You should have took the day off like I did. Come on. It'll be yeah, okay I just though. never can get it right. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know something? There is some irony here. They want to speed it along. They don't want speeches. I think I gave the longest speech last year. And they put a weather person at the mic. So I'll try and help you out, folks. Let's move things okay. along. Category 5E, Specialty Reports, Business and Consumer. The nominees are... The Great Sell Test, WBBM. The New Age of Advertising, WMAQ. Tempting Toxins, WLS. Eat at Your Own Risk, WBBM. Mortgage Fraud and Appraisal Fraud, WGN. Life on Craigslist, WMAQ. Dirty Hard Drives, WTMJ. Identity Theft Sting, WBBM. Oh, you have the honor? Okay. And the Emmy goes to Life on Craigslist. Don Lemon reporter, Jeff Flick producer, Richard Moy, Clark Gray, Mark Ringo. Come back on up, Mark. Todd Roberts, Julio Martinez, Nancy. Uh, Yana, Jig Date, I, I knew I'd mess that one up. If it wasn't for him, I, I don't know how my place would look. Digital boot camp. Rachel Murr says she owes her new life in Chicago to Craigslist. One week to the day that I got here, I started working at Digital Boot Camp. She also says she found an apartment and new friends. So on this site, where almost anything seems possible, I put it to the test. Time for Craigslist to meet Don's list. 15 objectives for me to accomplish using just this famous website. Now, 
may you remember, back up. Oh, that's right. We had a bit of advice before we came up. Yeah, my husband don't said bend don't over. bend over. Okay. <laughs> Category 5F, specialty report education. And the nominees are? School Swap, WMAQ. Hoops, Too Soon, WBBM. The Bike Doctor, WMAQ. Remembering Emmett Till, WLS. Having a Ball, The Lessons of Ballroom Dance, WLS. Chicago Matters, Valuing Education, WTTW. And the Emmy goes to School Swap. Miriam Brooks, reporter, Jessica Brannon, producer, Mark Ringo, Julio Martinez, Richard Moy, co-producers. We sent Alex to Bloom High School, a school of 1,500 with a majority black and Hispanic population, few white, and 60% low income. Don't let anybody tell you there's a third floor. <laughs> We sent Haley to Maine West, a school of 2,200 with mostly white kids, a few Hispanics, and almost no blacks. Only 16% here are low income. The place is not that far away, but at the same time, it's like a whole world different. Here's a look at those worlds through their eyes on security at Maine West. You guys have to wear IDs? <laughs> the next category, arts, culture, and entertainment. The nominees are? The Last Accordion Shop in Chicago, WGN. Book Crossing, WFLD. Song of Survival, WMAQ. City of New Orleans, Jammin' with Jagger, a carpenter named Carter, WGN. Spatulata, WTTW. An Evening with B.B. King, WTTW. Space for the Species, Exploring Options for Captive Elephants, WLS. And we have two recipients. First is Song of Survival, Warner Saunders reporter, Jessica Brannon, producer, Suzanne Richter, Nancy Yan... <laughs> I'm going to do it again, Nance. Uh, Vince Munyon co-producers. The second is Book Crossing, Mark Saxemeyer, reporter, producer, Timothy Smith, Andrea Brown, Peter O'Callaghan, Nathan Halder, producers. I did not set that up. NBC5 and Fox. Wow. Okay. Catherine also suffered a broken neck, but the spirit of the fighting Irish held fast. We knew early that she had a singing appointment and uh, we couldn't make any promises. Always in my head, I really, really wanted to know if I could be ready. If it was any way possible, we wanted to get her to Orchestra Hall for St. Patrick's Day to sing. Log on to bookcrossing.com and register your book in order to later track where it travels. So that the book is permanently identified. Then you release the book somewhere, anywhere, in hopes a new reader will pick it up. We like to put a post-it note on the outside. It says, I'm free, I'm not lost. You should take that. Thank you. Oh, oh by the way, congratulations on your Emmy. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Don't say thank you. Oh, okay. Oops. All right. Category 5H, specialty reports and religion. And the Emmy goes to... Faith in Real Estate, WMAQ. Recruiting the Cloth, WLS. Blue Eyes, Black Soul, WGN. Catholic School Rabbi, Wisconsin Public Television. And the Emmy goes to Blue Eyes, Black Soul, Allison Payne, reporter, Pat Grimes, Mike D'Angelo, producers. He enrolled in Quigley Seminary and spent his college years immersing himself in the ways of black worship by living in a West Side church. That got him in trouble. When I got kicked out of the seminary, my parents supported me. When they met with 
one of the bishops. They said, you know, you could be put out of the church. My mother said, you put us out. His mother died of breast cancer only weeks before he was ordained and assigned to St. Sabina. But he used his grief to improve the lives of his St. Sabina family. Next category, news specials, not in a regularly scheduled newscast. The nominees are... Ryan Warner Verdict, WLS. Chicago's Road to China, WLS. <laughs> okay. And... Uh, the Emmy goes to Chicago's Road to China. Wilson Toy, executive producer, Linda Yu, reporter, Lisa Jackson, Irit Nadin, Annie S. Rich Helingas, Rick Tolis, Game Pelesios, Jackie Dan, they're all on here. Mike, Dwight, Jose, they're all on here. The new hip urban lifestyle and pulsating nightlife. A symbol of China's phenomenal growth, there are now more cell phones in China than the total population of the U.S. In the U.S., there are nine cities with a population over one million. In China, there are more than a hundred urban centers with over a million people growing and building fast. Thank you, Tanya, thank you, Tammy, and thank you, Tammy, for my favorite wild lime non sequitur of the night. My husband said, don't bend over. <laughs> you all noticed, come on. Are we ready for more Otis? Are we ready for more Otis? Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, help me bring him back. Otis Clay! Woo! Thank you very much. We're back. We're gonna sing a new old song. Call it news because it's from a new album. And we're going to have what we call the congregational tune. It's Sunday. I know a lot of y'all didn't go to church. <laughs> Coming down here to Song Sing. From an album called Walk a Mile in My Shoes. New. If I could be you. And you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. If you could see you through my Instead of your ego, then you would be surprised to see that you've been blind. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. your whole world you see around you is just a reflection and the law of the common says you gonna read just what you saw You've lived a life of total perfection. 
Now there are people in Louisiana and Mississippi, Florida and Alabama too, and brother them. But for the grace of God, go you and I. Before you abuse me, criticize and accuse me, just walk a mile in my shoes. Thank you very much. We're going to go back. Thank you so much. We remember this song.
Clay, ladies and gentlemen. Otis will be at the MCA after the ceremony to autograph copies of his latest CD. Now, we are down to the short strokes, really. Uh, so please welcome from WGN-TV, a member of the TV's Academy's prestigious Silver Circle, Gloria Brown. And from WYCC, station manager and director of production, Arthur Wood. Otis Clay, I want to dance. Yeah. I was. <laughs> we've, been, we've been dancing in the back, actually. Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> let's go. We're down to the close numbers. Just 15 minutes away from that one hour of open bar. So let's go. <laughs> uh, we're going to present category number three, hard moon single feature. MySpace Dangers, WTMJ. Heroin Highway, WBBM. Walking Wounded, WLS. Bleached Counterfeit Bills, WFLD. In the Mix, WMAQ. Into the Darkness, WGN. Mothers Facing Deportation, WGBO. Wired for Trouble, WBBM. Category three, and the Emmy goes to Bleached Counterfeit Bills. Larry Ellen, reporter, Diane Carbonara, Chuck Kings, Kinzio, Kinzio, Tim Smith, producers, WFLD. But agents are encouraging businessmen to be on the alert for the bleached bills. Well, this is a, a bleached note, and on this particular note, on the right hand side. So right here you see Franklin. You see Franklin. And right here you see Lincoln if you hold it up to the Correct. Line. That's one way to check. A nearly invisible watermark should match the president whose face is on the bill. Bleaching doesn't remove that watermark, so a phony hundred with Benjamin Franklin still has an Abe Lincoln watermark from the original $5 bill. Next category, category number 3B, Hard News Feature Series. And the nominees are? Stolen Identity, WLS. Burned Twice, WBBM. Internet Predators, WTMJ. Criminess Sin Resolver, WSNS. Seeing Red, WMAQ. Blindsided. WBBM, Chicago Matters 2005, Money Talks, WTTW, Chicago's Road to China, WLS. And the Emmy goes to, there are two Emmy winners or um, Emmys being awarded in this category and they are Internet Predators, uh, John Mercure, reporter, Ira Klusendorf, Paul Ballesteri, Paul Marble, uh, Ray Lapine, Maureen Mack, Todd Petrie, producers, WTMJ. <laughs> and blindsided, Dave Savini, reporter, Michelle Youngerman, producer, WBBM. Three hours later, Jeff Rorick shows up all the way from Appleton. He's hoping to have sex with 14-year-old Abby. He knocks several times. What are you waiting for? Our producer lets him in the house. He takes his shoes off and he follows her. As deputies stand by, we move in. The things she's talking about are raised road reflectors. On the surface, they seem harmless and are designed to prevent accidents. But beneath the plastic reflector is a five-pound piece of metal. As roads break down, the metal can come loose and pop out. Especially after snowplow blades hit them. Across the country, cars have been damaged, people injured, even killed.
All right, the next uh, category, category 2A, single investigative report. And uh, these are the nominees. Before you pick a locksmith, WFLD. Tracking your security, WBBM. Free pass for predators, WITI. Gone in a flash, WMAQ. Deadbeat Dads, WTMJ. All right, and the uh, Emmy goes to Gone in a Flash. Lisa Parker, Robin Green, Mark Ringo, Suzanne Richter, Tony Vitale, producers. fuel filament gets compromised, fuel can leak out. Vehicle fire analyst Tom Green agreed to look at the Hockerman's minivan. When I first saw the story on the news, um, I had a suspicion that it was a filament related failure. And unfortunately, that was confirmed when I went out and looked at the wreckage. So when you remove the cap, what we're seeing now is the upper end of the fuel filler neck. Green first demonstrates what can happen when a filler neck hose separates from a 1999 caravan gas tank. It's awful hard to let those go when you just, just have it for that one second. You can have it. There, you can have one. Thank you. One. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else want one? Anybody want to say anything? Come on up. <laughs> We're ahead of schedule. The next category is category 2B investigative series, and the nominees are Public Employees Abusing Disability Placards, WFLD, Surgical Secrets, WBBM. Conduct Unbecoming, WITI. Good Gifts Gone Bad, WBBM. And the Emmy goes to Conduct Unbecoming, WITI. Brian Polson, reporter, Michelle Murray, David Machuda, producers. That's not how it seems to work in several other departments. I can't just get a form and take it with me and file a complaint. <laughs> take Kenosha, for That's instance. correct, because I went through this with you twice. To get a complaint form here, you have to tell the supervisor who your complaint is about, what happened, where it happened, and when. All right, so I can't get a form. We don't know no, what okay. your complaint is. No, you can't. The definite okay. impression that I got was that I was being discouraged from filing a complaint. Thank you. I get to keep this okay. one. Okay. Hey, let's stand up and have prayer. This is the last one. Cate uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Category number one, spot coverage and breaking news. And the nominees are... Pilgrim Baptist Church, WBBM. Plain Off Runway, WLS. Midway Runway Accident, WMAQ. Elmwood Park Train Crash, WBBM. Elmwood Park Accident, WMAQ. George Ryan Verdict, WMAQ. Immigration March on March 10th, WGBO. Immigration Rally, WLS. Immigration March on May 1st, WGBO. White Sox Parade, WGN. And the Emmy goes to, I can't open it. Plain Off Runway, WLS. <laughs> Richard, Magin, Lisa, Jeff, Jennifer, uh, Christine, Armand, Armand or somebody you. like that, assignment <laughs> editors, <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Brock, Cheryl Burton, Paul Meinke, Karen Jordan, Ben Bradley, Ron Majors, Charles Thomas, uh, Derek Robinson, Mark Urban, Mike Locasia, um, videographers, Ali Farkas, Gary Peterson, John Plater, John Sylvie, and as editors. 
Is this the last right. one? Right. Take right. it, Ms. Birch. <laughs> One last award. Um, you know, could you step forward here for a moment, please? Uh, these people have been on stage the longest this evening. I'm sure their feet are killing them. Our delightful and beautiful shepherds, uh, Dorote Royal Hadinger and Lungelo, Ling, Lungelo Cusuayo. Where? Oh, there you are. <laughs> please, a warm hand. Thank you. OK, one more, but just listen up. Right after the show, trolley buses are waiting outside and will whisk you down to the MCA. Uh, if you're not wearing stiletto heels, feel free to walk down there. Of course, it's just across Chicago Avenue and west of block. Uh, Wolfgang, Wolfgang Puck has been slaving over a hot hibachi all day. There are all kinds of tasty treats waiting there for you. Now, for our final award of the evening, please welcome the Dean of Chicago Television Journalism. He is also the Zen master of the No Step Drop Kick and the scat singer extraordinaire. Ladies and gentlemen, from WTTW, the one, the only, Mr. John Calloway. <laughs> Final award. Thank you. Thank you. I would like, before presenting it, to ask you to permit me to conduct a bit of a Yellen recount. And let me put the question to you this way. If, at this point in the evening, after you've had a chance to reflect and consider on it, you approve of this award ceremony, without speeches, would you please applaud? I think the votes are in. One of the reasons that people made speeches over the years, and the reasons they were long, is because they knew they didn't do what they did to get the honor alone. They wanted to recognize their colleagues, and they knew they couldn't do it without a station. It takes a station. And so I'm very proud and honored to announce this new category. This is the first time this category's been in the Emmys, and this is a station award. And every good rule should have an exception. And this is the one place that we're going to have this evening where there will be a speech permitted. It'll be short. Category number 19, Station Excellence. And the nominees are? ABC7 Chicago, Emily Barr, General Manager, WLS. CBS2 Chicago, Joe Ahern, President and General Manager, Fran Preston, Vice President and Station Manager, WBBM. NBC5 Chicago, Larry Wirt, General Manager, WMAQ. And this very important Emmy Award goes to CBS2 Chicago, Joe Ahern, General Manager, Fran Preston, Station Manager. This is CBS2 News with Diane Burns, Antonio Mora, Steve Baskerville, and Mark Malone. CBS2 News, Chicago's fastest growing news station. Where's the rest of the team? <laughs> oh, there they are. Um, knowing that uh, I, Fran and I here stand between you and the bar, we will be <laughs> mercilessly short. Um, I am short. 
on, on behalf of uh, Fran and Carol Fowler and the whole management team and, and everybody at the station, we want to say thank you to the Academy uh, to win this award up against two great TV stations that we compete with every day is really um, a great achievement. And uh, thanks to this team over here, and thanks to all of you. Good night. <laughs>